Bachelorette star Gabby Windy ended season 19 by accepting a proposal from her now fiance Eric. The reality star tells people how it feels to find love in this experience. I felt incredibly grateful that I did find someone who I really think I could spend the rest of my life with and there's just lots of excitement. Um, there's also some fear because you don't know what you're really walking into. It's a whole new world post filming. So um, there was some of that looming, but I think just like being present and grateful, honestly, it's like new love. What doesn't feel better than that? Gabby admits she and Eric aren't in wedding planning mode just yet. Instead, they're focused on taking things slow without the cameras around. Still pretty early. Um, you know, I think we're, we're not even in, in the public eye yet. This, we have a whole new world to figure out together. So I think like the intention, our commitment to each other is there. And now it's just like doing our job as people and, and the hard work in the relationship which is, you know, getting to know each other more, communication, um, really strengthening those like building blocks before we actually get to the altar. I think the hardest part of this is, you know, not being able to be together physically, having to keep your relationship private um, and go through all of that stuff together because life is very different. You're in a bubble. You don't have like normal day to day. Um, distractions so i think it's been hard to settle into but like i talked about earlier i think it's just strengthened our communication and um we'll hopefully we'll have like a no a whole new part of our relationship to explore eric faced public scrutiny when alleged texts leaked from one of his exes as well as a photo of him wearing blackface as a teen but gabby says communication kept their bond strong amidst the chaos yeah, with his yearbook photo, I found out, you know, with the rest of the world and I was incredibly shocked, um, just really had to process my thoughts and feelings and, and made me heavily think about those scenarios independently um, and then think about where, how we can grow as a couple and learn from this. Um, but, you know, I was uh, just as you know, pretty much devastated and shocked after seeing that and the text messages he had told me about months before. So I think ultimately it was a time for us to take a step back um, and reflect on our relationship and really weigh um, each other and see if we can get through this because it's challenging for both of us, you know. Um, again, you have to really lean on your communication, be really honest with each other while having these tough conversations. So I think, you know, these again are new challenges. They both happened pretty, pretty recently. So we're just kind of like grounding down and seeing how we can become better from, from both. Gabby admits that managing outside opinions isn't easy, but she won't let them stand in the way of her relationship. It's a struggle that you don't really know what to prepare for, how to prepare for. I think honestly, people are really quick to judge, which, you know, like that is what we're agreeing to live our lives in the public. So there's, I understand that it comes with the territory. Um, but there, I think, you know, if everybody lived their relationship in the public eye, not many of them would succeed. So mm -hmm. I will just hope that, um, you know, like Rachel said, people just kind of give us grace and and respect our decisions that we make. If anything, it, it is, it's a time for self-reflection and to see, you know, how much you really know yourself as a person and how much you really know your relationship. Because if you have a good solid ground, hopefully these things can't really destabilize you. Now, Gabby is happy to have found someone who allows her to be her truest self. He has been so great. He's really affectionate. He's There's no questions in how he feels about me now. So um, it, it has been really great. And I think, I think a lot of us have that feeling, especially when you're dating, it becomes exacerbated because you're going through all these ups and downs. So maybe I'm just, I am, I'm really vocal all the time about what I'm thinking. I don't hide anything. <laughs> so I think it's less like a woe is me and more like, oh my gosh, this is hard. This is what I'm feeling right now. Um, but I think I think a lot of people can relate to that. And ultimately, it's just like letting that feeling be there while letting someone else love you. And that's, you know, where I am now. 
Gabby credits her co-bachelorette, Rachel Recchia, for helping her through this experience. And she's thankful to have her support as she takes her relationship into the real world. Yeah, Rachel has been literally my biggest fan and cheerleader. <laughs> I'd be on Dancing with the Stars if it weren't for Rachel, for real. Um, so I'm so grateful to have her support, honestly. And as far as my relationship goes, I think um, we have another new exciting challenge in front of us, which is the real world. So I just can't wait for him to take me on a date, honestly. Aww. And then we'll see um, how that goes. For more on Gabby Wendy, pick up this week's issue of People on Newsstands Friday.